Hi everyone. Today we are going to study from class 9th chapter 5 introduction to Euclid geometry exercise 5.1 question 7. Why is axiom 5 in the list of Euclid's axioms considered a universal truth? Note that the question is not about the fifth postulate. So the question is what they are asking us is in Euclid's axioms the fifth axiom is considered to be universal truth. Why? And this is not about the postulate but it is about the axiom. So let's see I have already explained to you in the introduction part about the axioms and postulates. So what is that fifth axiom? Let us see. So the fifth axiom which I have already explained to you the whole is greater than the part. So the whole is greater than the part. I have explained to you in the introduction that the whole is for example consider this big rectangle this is A. So this is the whole big rectangle and the small rectangle is part of this big rectangle. So rectangle A will be greater than rectangle B because B is part of this whole rectangle. So the whole is greater than the part and this is an universal truth because universally it is accepted nowhere you will see where the part is greater than the whole. So therefore universally it is accepted that the whole is greater than the part. So that's what we have to answer in this question. So let's write down first axiom 5. Axiom 5 says that is the whole is greater than the part and your answer is it is true. It is true because because the part is included in whole. Therefore, therefore the whole is greater than the part. So that's our answer for this question. That's it. Thank you. God bless you.